right, how are my awesome solo artists doing? You guys doing okay? Paying your bills? Um, putting up with the jacked up, divided country we're in right now? Holy shit. So anyways, I just ran down here to go pick up a, a, a wireless a Wi-Fi stick for my computer. I had this guy, IT guy uh, put in a new drive, uh, solid state drive in my computer because it had the old drive. And I think I've got 24 gigs of memory. Yeah, 24 gigs of memory on my computer, which is good. I thought I only had 16, but he said I had 24. But I did have some damaged ports. Shit, I gotta turn around here. Uh, but he fixed it all, so it's all good. And so everything's up and running, so now I can get to recording my my um, originals because uh, I quit my job at the music store because uh, the guy that works here is a fruitcake. He's a couple uh, french fries short of a Happy Meal. And he spies on people on his cameras. It, it's, it's, it's weird. It's so bizarre. But anyways, I don't want to talk bad about him. You know, I mean, he's actually a really nice guy, a very... Uh, caring guy but his ego and the way he runs his store is completely awful it's just not good and uh so that's that so anyways but no hard feelings i just told him said dude i i just told him we're not on the same page here you know all i want to do is help out people and uh and bring your numbers up you know and if, but he he's just uh kind of a superficial egotistical kind of guy and he just anyways anyways enough of that oh fuck that shit <laughs> getting through the new year, uh, paying our bills, uh, all that good stuff. Anyways, uh, yeah, trying to put up with this divided country now. We got the new variant going around. Oh, that's just fabulous. Anyways, so uh, what I wanted to talk to you guys today about, uh, I had a, a subject I wanted to talk about was uh, your song list how you learn them, how you present them and play them to the audience. So this is what I do. So I, like I said, that's what this channel is all about. I'm just sharing what, how I do things. You guys have your other ways of doing things and that's awesome. And that's, and if it works for you, don't try to fix, copy me. Just if it, it works, keep running. So, but what I do is I'll take a song I love. I go, oh my God, I love this song. Because you got to love the song. I mean, really, you don't want to just do... I'm not into doing standards. A lot of people just do, you know, under the boardwalk, you know, or whatever. You know, I mean, just they just do a lot of standard type songs, you know. And it's like, I have always stayed away from that. Even... Uh, when I had my cover band, or actually it was an original band, but we did cover tunes too. I even took those songs and I would pick songs that were like on the B side of a Beatles record or something, you know, or whatever. I, uh, you know, I just do songs that I haven't heard anybody else ever do. And I've been around a little bit. I've seen a lot of great solo people out there, but I just try to do songs that they that uh, you don't hear yeah, that you but yet are still good I don't I don't mean they're total underground where you've never heard the songs before uh, over overtures I don't know what you call it they're they're little slang that they use you know things that they use in their their, their deal so you know I try to really copy I imitate uh, that's I go that far I'll even you know I mean except the moves or, or whatever but I'll actually try to imitate that song. Now, but it's not done. That's only to learn the song. You want it to 
sound just like uh, if you were getting up on the karaoke machine, you want to sing it just like, uh, you know, Mick Jagger would sing it, right? Um, so that's what I do is I learn that song really, really good in that form, in that way. And then once you got that song down, then you start adding in the drums, you know, what I do acoustically live. It kind of changes the, doesn't change the direction of the song. It's just maybe, if anything, sometimes it even sounds more like the record, like you're hearing it on the radio. But the thing is, you've got to, this is what's important, is to make those covers your own. Don't just imitate. Yeah, I imitate a little bit to learn it. That's the mode I go into. I Just to learn the song, I, I kind of imitate the artist. And then once I got that song down, and then I start getting onto a live, uh, uh, a, uh, a, a live um, rehearsal at home and I'll have everything hooked up I'll have it on the headphones like oh God, cool this sounds live and then you know you're still in that area of you know, you're right on that borderline of kind of imitating the artist a little bit but not that much but because you know even though I might think I sound like him or whatever but I kind of leave and get you know once the, I learned the song I end up making it my own and it kind of takes away, but in a good way, takes away from copying the artist. So you just got to make those uh, those cover songs your own. Just make them your own. But like I said, at first when I'm learning the song, I try to sing and, and uh, pluck away just like, uh, like I was uh, Neil Diamond himself, you know, uh, and that's how I learn it. You know, because I guess that's what gets makes me learn the song quicker, I think, uh, to really literally copy everything you hear in the song and just copy the motherfucker. Just copy him, you know? Copy that person. Copy James Taylor, whoever. Copy him. And then after a while, you got those songs down. You go, okay, I got a gig coming up next week, so you've got another week to, to rehearse that song into your set. So once you get that song into your set, uh, you rehearse that song and make it your own. Uh, kind of get the copying part out of the way, because really what you're doing is it helps you learn the chords of the song by imitating uh, vocally a little bit, helps you helps you get the all the chords down and, and by the way though I mean I try to I try to do songs that um, that are only like one chord <laughs> I'm kidding exaggerating a little bit maybe two two chords forget about it no I some of those songs you learn you know they're they're three four chords sometimes five chords and then you've got a bridge or something you go into it's got another three or four chords yeah so anyways that's my story and I'm sticking to it but um, yeah just learn the song like you're trying to copy like you're trying to be the best karaoke star in the world right that's what makes me learn the song quicker on the guitar and the timing and the phrasing that that person does because you want to make the song your own, right? But at the same time, you don't want to go stray too far off. But I guess there's no law against that, right? You could go stray off and do what you, you know, if you want to make it sound completely. I've heard a lot of artists, uh, solo artists do that. They they take those, um, uh, where am I? Uh, they take those, uh, songs and they really almost doesn't even sound like the artist at all and on some songs that does work but on other songs not so much I'm just telling you just uh gonna stick to the roots of the song because you want them because you know you're doing cover songs you want them to uh you want them to 
recognize the song uh, and to, to get them moving or put a smile on their face or get them up to dance, you know. That's my advice on that, on learning the songs. Um, what else could I tell you? That's about it. Um, yeah, so just, uh, that's what I do. I basically impersonate the song, do, do the song exactly how it's done on the radio. Once I've learned the song, the structure of the song, then I make it my own. And, uh, and like I said, I don't personally stray too far away. I mean, you know, I sound like Jeffrey Dean, right? I mean, that doesn't matter what I do. I want to sound like Jeffrey Dean, I guess, you know, I'm not trying to imitate or imitate anybody, you know? Um, but here's a real good example. Um, I was on tour with, uh, Dwight Yoakam and, uh, a small portion of his tour and we ended up being his opening act and that guy's like an amazing songwriter i don't know if you need to know who he is but he's country artist and he wears these spray on boot cut jeans with his dipped uh stetson hat and he's got that bakersfield kind of sound thing going on anyway so i've always been a big fan of him he's just an amazing songwriter and i love bluegrass music right so, um, uh, we did a few show opening acts. We were his opening act for a few shows. And, uh, it was so funny because uh, later after that, you know, probably even a couple of years after that, when I started doing it and then I started adding Dwight songs in my set, I noticed I'm going, holy smokes, I'm kind of sounding like Dwight. And, uh, cause I had people actually come up going, dude you said dude that's awesome you sound like dwight and i'm like oh <laughs> so which is okay i mean you know my range his you know when i sing in my register up into my sinuses i kind of you know yeah i can i can sound a little bit like him i think yeah so i don't know but that's my uh technique as far as learning the songs <laughs>